I'm going to show you how I control the environment in this greenhouse efficiently and easily. Um, what it does, it has an output for cooling right here. You set your temp and I'm going to set right now at 75. It's hard to see because of the refresh rate, but I'm at 76 in the greenhouse. I press this. If I say I got to go, I want 72, turn it on. Now the cooling output goes on and it turns on my fans. And this fan right now is just an eBay fan for two for $35 or 12 volts. It's getting power from solar panels on the roof. And this is a new power, 200 watt, 12 volt panel. I just put it in, I have it temporarily wired. And it goes to the fans. The output of the Eclipse is 120 volts. So when that says turn on, I send it to this digital loggers relay. So that just tells I have 120 coming in and it closes my contact for 12 volts on the other side going out to the fans. So that's the cooling loop. So I'm gonna shut that off because it's cool enough in here. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the humidity setting. I have 35% humidity, and it turned on that relay right there, and the misters came on. So the misters are from Amazon. These are awesome misting systems. Uh, very inexpensive, very fine mist. I have about 10 nozzles set up in here. And it brings up the humidity pretty quickly. I had to actually slow the water down because I want to have it more evenly. Uh, I don't want it cycling too much. So I actually remove some nozzles and the misting is gonna come up and keep the humidity where I want it. The output, when you turn it on, goes to my relay right here and all it does is open the water. Very simple. The other two outputs are heat which will go here. You set your heat setting. When it reaches it, it's gonna turn my heater on. And it has a timed output right here. Uh, I'm gonna set up my drip system to that. So the Eclipse F60 is an awesome device. It does four, actually five functions in one, and I highly recommended. Take care.